Hi, this is Hong Xuyin from Amelia Research, and today I will introduce our work called Dreaming to Distill, joined with Pablo, Jose, Zhizhou, Aru, Derek, Niraj, and Yang. As we know, deep neural networks use forward paths to make predictions and backward paths to train its weights. During this process, gradients on the input are also freely available, but usually never used. In fact, such gradients can also support many applications, such as deriving adversarial samples or new artistic effects towards new classes. In this work, we study a more challenging task that aims at synthesizing natural images from the original training distribution from a pre-trained model. This is done via a model inversion approach, where we optimize random noise into natural images while keeping that model fixed. However, as the model operates on the entire input space, optimization based on the original loss is very likely to converge outside the distribution of natural images with high confidence. One way to improve image quality is through the usage of image prior regularization, such as total variation. Image quality improves but remains unnatural. In this work, we hypothesize that a trained model contains priors of the original training dataset. Our major observation is that substantial priors are already stored in batch normalization layers. Therefore, we introduce a new term called our feature. The main idea is to enforce that the batch norm statistics are preserved during model inversion. This term substantially improves the quality of the generated images. We further propose adaptive deep inversion to improve the image diversity. The main idea is to encourage that the generated images to cause teacher-student disagreement. This is done via penalizing the output distribution similarities based on the Jensen-Shannon divergence. This helps distributional coverage expansion. Given an initial set of generated images, a student can learn to capture this part of the distribution. Upon generating new samples, competition encourages new samples out of the student knowledge scope. Iteratively, this improves image diversity. Our method enables synthesis of high fidelity, high resolution, class conditional image net samples given just a pre-trained ResNet 50 classifier without any additional information of ImageNet. We also show that images from ResNet 50 generalize very well to other models per train on ImageNet. This demonstrates image generalizability instead of overfitting to a single model. In terms of inception score for image quality assessment, our method beats most of the GAN baselines before big GAN, while completely alleviating the need for any additional GAN training. With deep inversion, we now enable a new breed of data-free applications without the need for any natural images nor labels. The synthetic samples support data-free knowledge transfer from a pre-trained model to a new student, enabling data-free distillation, compression, and continual learning. We first show CIFAR-10 ablation study results. Here, we are given only the pre-trained teachers to teach new students from scratch with zero original data. Each of the regularization contributes to steady student accuracy improvements across all teaching scenarios. Compared to prior state-of-the-art, our method achieves higher image fidelity as well as higher student accuracy. The method scales also very well to ImageNet. For data-free knowledge distillation, we can now use synthetic images and KL divergence loss to teach a new student from scratch up to 74% accuracy, given only a 77% teacher and zero original ImageNet data. We also enable data-free pruning. For ResNet 50 filter-level pruning on ImageNet, we show data-free methods achieve similar post-prune model performances compared to prior work, which use the entire dataset. We also focus on data-free continual learning, where we add new output classes to a pre-trained ResNet 18 with zero original data. Our method outperforms the state-of-the-art method by a large margin in all cases. We are now very close to the Oracle methods and sometimes outperform them. The main takeaway of this paper is that we find a trained deep CNN has surprisingly encoded substantial information of the original training distribution. This distribution can then be sampled very effectively via our proposed method called deep inversion. Here are the links to our paper code, and all the generated images. Thank you.